the houses would have been burned down. When it comes to homicide, Edmonton has nothing on Habima. Edmonton's homicide rate, notorious at 34 so far in 2011, is dwarfed by the deaths at the troubled Aboriginal community an hour to the south. With 15,000 residents, the four Cree reserves have been home to three homicides just since December 2010. That's a per capita murder rate more than four times that of the city of champions. The amount of violence here, the amount of violent calls, shootings, um, that's that's unique here. I mean, there'll be there'll be nights where you get five or six drive-by shootings. With up to five reports of shots fired in a single night, the RCMP detachment in Habima deals with Edmonton-style crime problems and a population terrorized into silence by fear of gang retribution. Despite assurances that the identity of those providing clues is protected, progress is slow. When a caller reports a suspect wearing all black, walking with a gun in one of the enclaves, it's one of those calls. More often than not, people don't want to be providing us with information, not in all cases, but in the majority of my investigations and from what I've seen, in my posting here in two years, a lot of people don't want to talk to us. To complicate things, Hobima's maze of roads has almost no street names or numbers and no GPS. The officers gather before a map to respond to a call of shots fired. Go. Responding quickly is important, but making sure it's the right address just as critical. And when seconds count, response times can lag accordingly. For Sun News, I'm Jackie Larson.